moving, moving, moving. Oh, they're disapproving. Keep them doggies moving. Oh, don't try to understand them. Just grow and grow and friend. So we'll be living high and low. My heart's calculating. My true love will be waiting. Be waiting at the end of my ride. Move them on, hit them up, hit them up. Move them on, hit them up, raw high. Let him out, ride him in, let him in, let him out, cut him out, ride him in, raw high. You. Good to see you again. It's good to see you too. It's been a long time. Oh yeah, about six weeks. You have a nice time at home. Oh yeah, great, great. I, I didn't do anything but eat Ma's cooking and sit around. Never looked at a steer except in the shop window. How about yourself? Oh, the same. When Mr. Favors' letter comes saying to meet at Rio Salado, I almost write this time no Jesus. I don't leave home for anything. Oh, me too. <laughs> Person had to be soft in the head to go back on a drive after that last one. Eating dust on the chisholm. Did you really have a good time when you were home? Hey, yeah, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did it first. And then after a while, it was Rowdy do this and Rowdy do that. And ain't you ever gonna get out of bed, Rowdy? See, it was the same for me and all my little cousins and sisters. Uh, there was never a minute's peace. I'll be glad to get out on the trail. I'm glad I ain't the only one Another one of those posters. See, I have seen them everywhere. He doesn't look much like a bandito, you think? No, not much. Kind of a handsome fellow. You must want him pretty bad. Five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Oh, see, it's mucho dinero. Mucho dinero is right. That's a lot of slugs. What we couldn't do with money like that, huh, Jesus? It's a good way, it is a fortune. Well, maybe I'll just collect. Get myself a bandit. Drop the gun, senor. Well, isn't the handsome bandit himself? Gracias. I suppose you hand over the dinero, huh? Not you, the other. Look, you got the wrong man, mister. I'm about as flat as a person can be. I spent all but my last two dollars back in Laredo, picking up grub. A sad story. Do you expect me to believe you're just wandering through the country penniless? Uh, no, we're on our way to Rio Salado to meet our crew. We're drovers. Both of you? Compadres. Si, senor. That's right. Registremos. Sad story, it is true, senor. I don't care about the money, but uh, that watch don't mean nothing to you. And does it mean much to you? Well, my old man gave it to me. Daniel Yates. Is that your name? It's my old man's name. My name's Roddy. And you? 
Jesús Patines. ¿De dónde? Banderas. You should choose better compañeros. He is my friend. You believe that? Of course. He's proved it many times. You're a fool. You should pick better friends with more money. It is I who should donate to you. Here. Eat, drink, and be merry at the expense of Antonio Marcos. At least take the horses, Antonio. Amele. What a fella, isn't he? Very strange bandido. Well, I want to thank you, Jesus. Okay. Now, he would have plugged me for sure if you hadn't said I was your friend. Well, that's true. Forgot all the times you cussed me out? No, no, I'm better than ever. I've been practicing. <laughs> Not bad. Why don't you take your horses around back, go in and have a bath, anything you want. In here? Yeah, sure, it's all taken care of, all paid for. Okay. Well, how about that? You too, Jesus. Gracias, senor. Oh, I'll be over at the Monterey Saloon, seeing the fellow who's heard we're contracting. You two get cleaned up, you come on over. Right, we'll do that. Hey, by the way, I'm glad you both decided to sign on. You thought we wouldn't? Well, it's time is different. You never know who in this outfit's going to come back or not. Oh, who showed so far? Ah, uh, Collins, but he's still drunk from Sedalia. Teddy, a couple others. What about Pete and Mushy and Wishbone? And Jim all? Quinch, Joe Scarlett? Have to wait and see. It's muy hombre. Yeah, a little pig-headed at times. Well, who can't be? Mr. Favor? Oh, Collins. I want you to meet a friend of mine, Dan. Dan, this is the boss. The best boss a man ever had. All right, Dan. If I was a drover, I might take out a recommendation and sign on with you. Only I ain't a drover. What line of work are you in, Dan? Well, I guess you might say right now it's drinking. <laughs> that does explain why you and Collins are such good friends. Pal, that's what we are, ain't we, Dan? Pal. Sure enough! <laughs> Mr. Andrews. Oh, Mr. Favor, good to see you, good to see you. Sit down, sit down. Thank you. Don Andres Marcos, Mr. Gil Favor. Glad to know you, sir. I am honored to meet you, senor. And welcome to our town of Rio Salado. If I can be of service. Oh, thank you, but I doubt if we'll be here that long. I hope our troubles will not inconvenience you. Troubles? Don Andres means this business about the bandits. Oh, yes. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with our business. Which is why you are here. So I will excuse myself and leave you to it. <laughs> Don Benito, gracias for the drink. My pleasure, Don Andres. Adios, senor. Sir? <laughs> Didn't know there were any like him left around. There aren't many. He's one of the last of the old Dons. Hey, doesn't, doesn't the name Marcos mean anything to you? Marcos? Oh, the poster is uh, the bandido? Yes, Don Andre's oldest son, sign of the family. It's a tragedy, Mr. Favor. Yes, it's a small tragedy, but large enough in a little place like this. It's an old story, bad boy from a good family. Not for the same reasons, and not quite in the same way. No? Antonio Marcos doesn't call himself a bandito. He calls himself a revolutionary. <laughs> He's leading a revolt against the Texas land grant. Oh, isn't it a little bit late for that? It's a lost cause. But he can do a lot of damage. Matter of fact, already has. Robbery, even murder. Three men have been killed already. You said he had reasons. He does. Certain unscrupulous ranchers, outsiders, all of them, took advantage of the law and legally stole his father's lands. Left the family almost penniless. Killed Antonio's mother. Your boy sure didn't seem penniless. No, they're proud people, Mr. Favor. Fine people. 
Some of the finest I've ever known are right around here. Hmm. Well, about the herd. Yes, I was coming to that. Mr. Faber, there's been a delay in getting the cattle together because of this trouble. My vaqueros spend most of their time right here in town, getting ready to fight if they have to. It's that bad? Ugly situation. Tiniest thing could set off a little civil war. There's suspicion everywhere in this talk. Well, when my men get here, we'll gather up the herd ourselves then. Good, good. When'll that be? Well, I told them today, but they're coming in from all over. And you never can tell who will show up or when. No, we might as well start tomorrow morning with what we have. All right, anything you say. I must warn you, be very careful, Mr. Favor. Outsiders are not trusted in Rio Salado, so keep your men well in hand. Don't let them get mixed up in this. Oh, because of this one fellow? Yes, he's become a sort of a symbol to both sides. I don't know what's going to happen when they finally get him. on your faces. I'm trying to keep from breathing all the alkali dust you got around here. What do you think? Well, do you have to get in trouble before we even get started? How'd I know he was going to be so touchy? Oh, I'm glad to see you anyway. Both of you. Good to see you too, Mr. Favor. Yeah, well, I had a better job all lined up, but I figured you'd have a hard time getting any other sane man to cook for you, so, well, for the good of the men, I decided to come along. You're hired. Teddy will show you the hotel and where the stable is. And then, where the saloon is. Yippee, let's go, Mr. Let's go, Boone. <laughs> <laughs> You come on and have another little drink. I don't mind if I do, old horse. This child's dry. <laughs> Looks like there's gonna be some celebrating around here tonight. Make mine dry. <laughs> hey, who do you think you're shoving? I'm sorry, senor. Senor. What are you doing in here anyway? This joint's not for you. Now, just a minute, old pal. This is my friend, Jesus. How do you know he ain't one of Marcos' men? I don't drink with banditos. And maybe you're the one that won't be drinking, mister. You hear me? Oh, get just out! Come in. Just come in! You take his part, you'll get the same as him! Why, you bearded old goat, I'll tear you apart! You pick on someone else. Rowdy. Boy. This is kind of a surprise, ain't it? Now, now wait a minute, Yates. His name is Yates, too. Yeah, he's my pa. Rowdy, you told us your pa was dead. He still is. Wait a minute, boy! Come here! Rowdy, I want to... I got I nothing know. to say to you. Well, look, let's, let's go to that blacksmith shop across the street. There are things to be said after all those years. Why the blacksmith's shop? Well, I, I bunked there. Once I ran it. Look, boy, the same blood flows in both our veins no matter what I've done. Come on. Ronnie, boy, is that a thing to say about you, Paul? You wished I was dead? Why not? It's true. What'd you expect me to say? Well, I know I ran out on you and your ma. I admit it. It's been a long time, Dan. I'm surprised you recognize me. Or me, you, for that matter. Oh, you've grown some, but I'd know you anywhere. You're my boy. You really care about that, don't you? Maybe more than it seems. Why'd you run out on Ma? 
Well, that ain't an easy thing to explain, boy, but ever since them early days, even before, I never could set long at a spell just the way I'm built. As yeah. long as she'd go along with me, everything was fine, but then they was you and school. Oh, and it was my fault, huh? Wasn't nobody's fault. She just had to stay and I just had to go. Don't you ever get that itch in you to get out and see something new, do something new, even if it's only to... Ride out over that far hill just to see what's beyond. Uh, hear the wind in different trees to sit by a lonely campfire and listen to the wolves about and know you're your own man. Ain't you never had that? Yeah, I guess maybe I have. I'm glad to hear you say that, boy. Not for me, for you. It means you're a man. You got the stuff. That's no excuse for not ever coming back. Well, I was going, I meant to all along, but how could I come back empty-handed? I was always looking for that steak to set us up real good. We never wanted anything, just you. But it was for you I'd done it. A ranch, like we always used to talk about. You remember? Yeah, I remember. Ma and you and me on a place of our own? Where a man could be himself and not beholden anyone or have to work for hire. That's what I wanted. I never got that stake. I never had a real chance till now. You think you could go back now, Dan? Why not? You and me could run that ranch now. You're a man now. All we need is a little stake. Say, 5,000. Oh, come on. Quit dreaming, will you? There's no 5,000, and there's not likely to be. Now, Dan, you're gonna go on drifting and cashing drinks off drovers like me and getting in brawls and scrapes and working as little as you absolutely have to for the rest of your life. And I hope nothing more. Yes. And then what? Someday somebody plugs me or a horse kicks me or the old ticker just stops and that's the end of me. I may not have much time left, boy. I'd like to spend it with loved ones. Dan, you ain't got any loved ones. You mean that she don't? You don't feel nothing for me? Yeah, I guess we do in spite of everything. Well, it's the same with me. Maybe I could make it up to you. Wouldn't make it up to you if I was to get you that little ranch? Quit dreaming. You can't go back now. It's too late for that. Oh, wait! You saw her on account of that friend of yours? That's right, I am. Well, you can't hold that against me, boy. I fought in the War of 46, remember? You used to play with the buttons off my uniform. I fought with old Sam Houston and San Jacinto. I had a brother died at Meyer. Died when they shot every tenth man just to show they could. Look, that war's been over a long time. That's no excuse to start another one here. All right, boy, anything you say, just don't get sore at me. Maybe, maybe we could team up, do things together, us two, huh? I'm, I'm moving north with a herd. I won't be back here till fall. I see. Well, maybe I'll move you up to see your mother. I might be able to help a little around the place. Yeah, she'll probably just take you back, too, in spite of her tears and vows. But you don't need to disappoint her again. Now you better stay away from her. Oh, now, boy! I want to tell you about this thing. Don't be bothered by it. He wasn't always the kind of man he looked like today. Yeah, sure. He's lived kind of a rough, hard life. He was quite a man once. All those stories, they, they weren't lies. At least I don't think they were. Not better. 
You know, when, when I was a kid, I used to really worship him. All the kids around did. He taught us how to hunt and fish, defend ourselves. I owe him a lot. You paid him back in full. How's that? Like grown into a man? Uh, then he went away and left Ma and me. I got to hating him for that. I guess for what he did to Ma. I don't know. Maybe it was for leaving me alone. Maybe I'm being selfish about the whole thing. What do you think I ought to do? It makes you think you should do anything. Or even that you can. Well, I... I can't just ride off and leave him here alone. Well, he did it to you. Look, he's gotten along all these years without you. No reason he can't do it now. So forget it. Look, you've paid him back in full. You don't owe him a thing. It's the other way around. for you to be down in the dumps. Don't anybody think anything about that. Thanks. Senor Rowdy, why don't you ask your father to come and have a drink with us? You mean after the way he talked to you? I don't mind. It was all a kind of mix-up. He's probably a fine fellow, and we would all have fun together, no? Well, thanks, Jesus. I don't even know where he is. and find the sheriff in this dried up town. Don't know. Hey. Huh? Is that the hum that robbed us? Well, that's him, all right. Antonio Marcus. Reward. Five thousand dollars. Just think. We was only about that far from all that money. We was never any farther away from it. We was on the wrong end of them guns. Wait! John! Hey! hey! Well, we just met up with these nims here on the poster. You take your horses? Yeah, and everything else, too. We got our saddles, though. Told him we as drovers might lose our jobs without them. Hey, it's a funny thing. He asked about Rowdy and Jesus here. Wanted to know if we knew him. We told him, sure, we was with the same outfit. Then he let us go and gave us the saddles. He a friend of yours? Well, you could say something like that. Well, he appeared like a pretty good old boy, but we better find the sheriff and get our horses back. Afraid it won't do much good. Yeah, we got time for that later. Yeah, I'm hungry enough to eat a dead blasted haunted toad. We got plenty of food and drink. Just remember, you've got to get up early and start rounding up. Come on, let's go. Come on, it ain't like my cooking, but you're too humble about it. Rowdy, I got to talk to you. What do you want, Dan? Can we go somewhere, just for a little, to talk? Rowdy, I know how you feel. I meant it when I said I wanted to make it up to you. Listen, I've been doing a lot of thinking about it. I ain't as young as I was. I don't sit easy by the campfire no more. There's aches in my bones I never had before. Look. Oh, listen, boy, uh, let me say it. I want to come back, Rowdy. You and me running our own place with your mother mind us. That's what I want. I'm sorry, but like I said, it's a little late for that now, Dan. Oh, no, it ain't, boy, because I got something cooking. 
I got an idea how to collect that $5,000 we need. How? Oh. I think I know how we can collect that reward money for the bandito. You mean Antonio Marcus? How? Now, mind how I'll take care of how. You say you'll come in with me, all right? If I get the information we need, you just come along and help out. It won't take long the way I got it figured, and he won't even know what hit him. You mean you plan on killing him? Well, the poster says dead or alive, he's a bandito. Look, I ain't no bounty hunter. Oh, now look, boy. This fellow needs taken. Somebody will do it. Not me. You realize how much money that is more than either one of us have ever seen? You realize what it could do for us? Give us both what we've always wanted. Look, I've never done anything like that, and I ain't about to start now. Not with Antonio Marcus. Why, he's no different than I am. You know him? That's right, I know him. He held us up today, me and Jesus. He could have robbed us or killed us, but he didn't. He gave us back everything, even that old watch you gave me. He knows you, knows your name? Yeah, he knows my name. And he saw your name in the watch. You still carry that old watch I gave you? Yeah. Well, now, boy, that's right thoughtful of you. I don't think I'll carry it anymore. I don't much want anything that belongs to you. You can have it back if you want. I'm sorry to hear you say that, boy. Maybe you'd change your mind once you got that money in your hands. I doubt that. Ronnie, give me back that watch I gave you. Goodbye. Just for a little, son. Señor. It's a Marcos place, ain't it? Si, sí, don Marcos, he lives here. Yeah, I want to talk to the old man. It's impossible, he's retiring. I said I want to talk no. to him. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you shut up, you hear me? Señor. Señor, what is it you want? I don't suppose you'd tell me where your son Antonio is, would you? No, señor. Even if I knew, I would not tell you. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. So I guess I'll have to manage it another way. No! Please stop! No! Ah! Yeah, well now, why don't you tell that bandito about that, huh? Don Andres, my father, my patron. Maria, Maria. Don Andres. Tell, tell Antonio. No, no, I have no, to first. No, no, tell Anton. Where is this range we're going to be working? Oh, about three miles west of town. Sort of worried about Pete. What do you suppose he'd be? I sure don't know. Maybe he ain't coming. Oh, you'd think he'd ride or something. Still time for him to show up. Probably palpitating over some female somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I should have thought of that. Maybe that's where Murdoch is and some of the others, too. I've left word where to find us. He'll probably be draggling in for three days yet. Well, everybody ready to ride? Yeah, yeah. Senor? Huh? There was a Senor Yates here, no? Yeah, right over there. Senor Yates? Yeah, how are you? I have a message for you from Antonio Marcos. Marcos? He says he will do something about it. He is coming here to kill you, and there is no use trying to escape. Every road is blocked. Hey, whoa, whoa, wait up. What did he say? Antonio Marcos is coming here to kill me. We'd like to know what's going on. The Mexican boy just came in with a message for Yates here from Antonio Marcos. Said he was coming in to kill him. Oh, so he knows. Knows what? 
What happened last night? Your name is Yates? Yeah, that's right. Roddy Yates. That's a surprise. I thought... Look, that... what's this all about? Maybe you better ask him. Well, ask me what? What happened to Don Andres Marcus's house last night? You mean to tell me you don't know? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean to tell you. And we can vouch for it. He was with us all last night. Come on. Let's find out about this. No, no, era un hombre viejo. He was a, an, an old one, you know? Yeah, just the one I thought. Looked like a mountain man, beard on his face. The one who started that trouble yesterday. Why did he have a watch with your name in it? This is the same name as his. He's my father. Where is he? I don't know. And you had nothing to do with this? Nothing. It seems Antonio Marcus doesn't know that. Maybe too late to stop him. It's up to you to protect him. In this town, with a friend of Antonio's on every corner... All right, then. Get him out of town. With Antonio's men on every road waiting to shoot on sight. And it's going to be up to you to tell Antonio about it. He may not wait to listen. His father in there unconscious may be dying. This whole thing could explode into bloodshed before we have a chance to stop it. I'm partly guilty, too. It's my responsibility. I'll face up to him. What are you talking about? You got nothing to do with his guilt. I might have known Dan was planning something like this. I've got to do it. reception is this? We're just one day late. Yeah, well, maybe you should have waited another day, Pete. Just in time for some lead throwing. Well, what's going on here? Come on inside, Pete. I'll tell you. What about swearing in some deputies? I tried that. Everybody's sick or awful busy or something. You can't blame them the way this thing started. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're your deputies now. You don't have to do that. It's none of your affair. You don't owe him nothing. Neither do you. We ain't doing this for him, Roddy. Sheriff. Yes, Ben. I guess you realize how dangerous this situation is. Well, yes, I think I do. If it happened some other way, things might be different. But this cowardly attack on a defenseless old man, a man everybody respected and loved. I know that. Then you must know that if you try to take him, arrest him, or worse, I won't answer for the consequences. What do you expect me to do? Let him ride into town and gun this boy down? If this boy was behind bars where he belonged, there'd be no danger of that. Is that so? Ben, do you expect me to let Antonio ride into town and out again unmolested? It's suicide, John. Worse. Think what it means to the town. With these men behind you, there'll be a war. You owe it to the town, John. I owe it to the town to do the duty I swore I would. That's what I'm going to do. If these are the only men that'll help me, well, that's the way it is. Besides, our man had nothing to do with this thing. What do you mean? This is what I said. He's innocent. Who did it, Ben? It was another man. It doesn't matter. It matters a lot. It doesn't matter. I'm going to answer for him. It was a boy's father, Ben. Where is he? Gone? We've got to stop Antonio. How? I don't know how, but we've got to stop him. We've got to speak to him first. I'm going to do that. I'll face up to him. Ready? You, gringo. Marcus, you're under arrest. 
Look around you, Sheriff. You're not going to intimidate me, Antonio. It is not to intimidate you. It is to ensure that this business, which is personal between this man and me, stays that way. Personal. You can't get away with this. A lot of innocent people will suffer. You talk to me of innocent people. My father was innocent. And so is this man. He didn't touch your father. No. What about this? Somebody else took it. Who? This man had it only yesterday. I saw it. This man did not beat your father. Perhaps you can tell me then who it was. There's no way of proving who it was. Then I have only you. You will have to answer. I'll answer. Only let's have this just between you and me, not uh, any of the rest of these men, all right? No se meten, segundo. Muy bien, jefe. All right. That is the way it would be. You and me. Sheriff, give me a word. This is going to be a fair fight. You won't hold anybody here for what happens. All right. Anytime you're ready, senor. on my head. He was a murderer, thief, and no good and needed killing, wasn't he? So what's the harm? You're all green, that's all, envying me this. Well, it's mine, you hear? Mine and Roddy's. We done it, not you. We better start moving. We'll camp out in the range so we can get an early start in the morning. Uh, just a minute, Mr. Faber. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Faber. Sorry? Sorry about what? Well, I hate to back out on a business deal, but under the circumstances... You're trying to tell me we, we don't get the hurt? How can I let you take it now, the way these people feel? Now, after what you've done... What we've them. done? We didn't have anything to do with it. Look, you mean to tell me just because we were here? Yeah. Just because you were here. These people are always going to feel that you being here brought this whole thing to a head. And we lose our jobs just like that? Sorry, I can't afford to take the chance. A hundred miles from nowhere. These men are out of work. Most of them are out of money. And you're sorry. That's all I can say. I'm sorry, boss. Don't ever say that again. Hey. Hey, you know? It just might be that none of us has to be sorry at all. It could very well work out that 
It somehow works out for the best. You mean losing the herd? Yeah. I've been thinking that. There's a little Mexican herd I heard about down the river. Only about 800 dead, but it's for sale. Now, the brush between here and there is just thick with wild critters, free for the taking. Now, we beat the brush growing down. We pick some up, and with the 800 we bought, we just might end up owning a herd. Where are you going? I'm going to get us some cash, my half of that reward money. Uh, this will make up for the money you're losing. Don't you never listen to me? Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, I heard you. Think I'd take a cent of that money even if I needed it, which I don't? You hear me? Which I don't. I can get my own herd. You're not just saying that. Listen, this isn't something I just dreamt up. I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's been tried before and it's worked fine. Just never had any reason to try it before. Now I've got a reason. You just gonna pick up a herd of lousy scrub cattle? Well, there's nothing wrong with them. They just need gentle a little. Besides, up north they'll get just as good a price. And we won't have to split the profits with nobody neither. It'll work, Rowdy. All right. All right, then it's settled. We'll start beating them south in the morning. Let's get our gear ready, man. Hey, Rowdy. Thanks. Thanks for trying to help me. You shouldn't be worrying about that now. Well, what should I be worrying about? I can't say. But... Well, there is something your old man's been spreading around that uh, you were in on it with him. He is your pa. Yeah, I know. This I lost. Bet's down. You gonna take that money? Dealer runs this game, mister. You take that money, yeah. I'm a... Come on, cash in. Well, it's about time. <laughs> All righty, I knew you'd come around. Dan, I bought you a horse. Get out of town fast, are we, before somebody takes a pot shot at us, huh? Oh, Rowdy boy. I'm sorry you was mad at me, but if you only knew how this makes me feel. Listen, boy. I never could tell you before, but I can now. I've been lonely. Awful lonely. I need you and your ma. Maybe it was just pride made me stay away, but now I'm glad. Awful glad. It's gonna be me, and you, and, and that little ranch. Shut up, Dan. It ain't gonna be nothing. You're gonna take that horse and that money and get out of here. You think this money's tainted too, huh? Isn't it? Look, I told you I didn't want any part of that money. Now you get on that horse and get out of here, and don't ever come around me again. But you're more. She'd feel the same way I do. She wouldn't want a penny of it. Roddy, boy, you can't send me away alone. I'm a... Poor old man, I'm your father. My father's been dead a long time. Rowdy! Rowdy! All right, all right, I don't need you, I don't need your ma, I don't need nobody. I got what I need. You can all rot in your pride. Your pride! For all I care. Ahí viene un jinete. Apaguen la lumbre. Tráiganmelo. Man, huh? We were Marcos's men, senor. It was Marcos's men, all right. They got their money. They're just playing bandits now. Oh. 
for her pa. All his life he wanted that money. Look, you're going ahead. We'll bury him. It wasn't as bad as you'd think. If you'd known him like he was when I was little. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like you said, he, he died a long time ago. And he stopped caring for those who loved him. I sent him out here. No, you didn't. He put himself on that road a long time ago. You gotta stop blaming yourself. You had nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. No. Try and forget it, huh? Critters are thickest just northeast of Laredo, about three days' ride from here. Your pay will start from the day you reached Rio Salado. Yeah, but there won't be any owners this time, and no small ranchers to give you an advance. How are we going to get the money? Out of my own pocket. You'll be working for me in more senses than one. You really meant what you said about owning your own herd. I meant it. I mean to own my own herd. Most of it, anyway. I'm going to use all the money I got, some to buy beef, some to pay your wages while you're beating them out of the brushes. It's going to be a hard job, but you'll get paid. And I'll share a quarter of the profits with you. Well, what do you say? Oh, here we go! I was hoping you'd take it like that. But what are you all standing around for? Come on, let's hit leather! Round them up! Oh, yeah.